you got to avoid that. So what do we do? We move our dispersion longer. <laughs> exactly. So instead of hitting the 125-yard club, hit the 135-yard club. All right, guys, we got a shot here on the simulator, which is a shot that a lot of amateurs struggle with and that a lot of amateurs might think they should do better at. We got a tour player here, Hannah on the Epson Tour. We're gonna see how she handles a 125 yard shot over water, all right? Okay. First of all, what are you hitting? Uh, I've got a nine because I am not messing with being short of this. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's see it. It's a nice swing. That's a fantastic golf shot. Okay. Let's see, you hit that shot too. Three feet, that's pretty <laughs> impressive. Because the average on the PGA Tour from 125 yards in the fairway, the best players in the world is 20 feet. Wow. You know? We'll take that. We'll take that, right? That's unbelievable. But a lot of amateurs that hit this shot, they hit it to 20 feet, they're like, meh. Yeah. It was an okay shot, it wasn't that great. Eh, that's what the best players in the world average. But the amateurs actually average 45 feet from 125 mm -hmm. yards. So you got to manage your expectation and be a little smarter with your course management because exactly what Hannah just said, she took an extra club that definitely helped her here because she wanted really to avoid hitting it in the water and making a big number, which is crucial if you want to shoot better scores. So imagine you're 45 feet on average, to the hole from 125. If you hit, if you aim straight towards the pin and try to hit it 125 yards, some part of your dispersion is gonna be short in the water. So you gotta avoid that. So what do we do? We move our dispersion longer. <laughs> exactly, so instead of hitting the 125 yard club, hit the 135 yard club, all right? You might end up with some shots that are a little bit long, but if you look at the, the green here, the long shots are just on the fringe or the fairway behind the pin and you avoid disaster and losing your golf ball, losing four bucks, no, you know, no guac at Chipotle after the round, right? <laughs> okay, so hit a little bit more club, avoid the big number and realize that you might not be as good as you think you are because some players even on the best uh, PGA Tour level only hits it to 20, yard, uh, to 20 feet from this distance. So let us see one more here, okay. So your thought process here, please tell us. You know water is short, you have 125 yards, so you're actually hitting your 135 yard club, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a full nine for me carries like 136. Yeah. And I might not be fully like nuking this club, I'm not hitting a hard nine, but I know that if I swing smooth, this is gonna safely get over and I don't have to stress at all. Okay, perfect. Let's see if she can do it again. Can she go two for two? This looks pretty darn good too. Beautiful. And that's how you Safe. play golf, folks. Manage your expectations. Hit enough club and really think about the shot you have in front of you. You don't want to hit it in the water. It's totally okay to be long in the fringe or the fairway, and you're going to improve your score tremendously. Thank you, Hannah. Great showing.